general anyways, it's, it's really, really so Let's wrap this up and get to the next topic. What was that? You said uh, there was two things. USA. So again, well, we've been going this back and forth. Part. This is the we've been going we're back and forth in the US. And again, I'm sure you're gonna you're gonna go with this. Obviously, you know, based off their 94 and 2 record in, yep. in, in situations like that. So and again, it's an exhibition game, so it is what it is. But you, you can't say that losing back to back games, I think it was with the Nigeria and to uh, Australia. Australia. And, Australia. And, and I get it, and I completely get it. You know, you, you throw guys together in a small camp, they're they're not used to playing with each other. But on overall talent, on overall talent, you shouldn't be losing to those teams. And, and again, we, we can go back to, and again, this is, I think that was the first time I think they've, they've had a situation since they've, they've, they've sent professional players over to the Olympic situation. Mm -hmm. And again, they might just go into the actual Olympics and, and steamroll everybody. everybody. But it, it, it was still bad. And, and again, and the, fun, and, the, and the crazy thing that I have the biggest problem with is, is, the, Amer is the American media. Because they, if you saw any of that during this stuff, ah, uh, Nigeria... We're, we're, we're supposed to beat them by 40 and all of that. So they're, they're, feeling no them, they're feeling themselves. They're giving the teams no respect. So, yeah, when, when they get beat, I will, st I will start saying, hey, this is what happens when you guys are feeling yourselves a little too much. And, and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. And, again, you know, he'll start saying it's because, again, Durant's leading the team. Again, this you, you not, said that. Well, you again, said he's, you're trying he's, to blame Durant, but I'm going to tell you, we're all getting your spot. He's, 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 he's the figurehead of the team. He's the best player on the team, well, but that's not why they lost. But anyways, lost. Okay. well, again, he was 4 for 16 in that first game, but anyway, we're not going to get on that. But overall, again, they should be doing better. Again, and, and I go with put pop goals and, like, the rest of the world's catching up. And, and, and again, he's been sniping at reporters because reporters are saying they should be – their average you know, winning margin was by 30, and now well, what the hell what the hell's going losing. on? And, and I completely uh, understand that. You, but, again, if they, were, if they were to do this in the actual Olympics, you'd have to say – and, again, I, now they brought in JaVale McGee and – and uh, and Johnson from uh, from San Antonio. So uh, their their selections yes, uh, uh, their weird. selections are weird. I get they don't have many bigs. I have no idea why Kevin Love was on the team in the first place. He's been injured. He's for, gone for for uh, yeah. he's gone now, but he's injured. But he's been injured forever. So I'm I'm weirded out by the strategy. Should they be doing better with the talent? Absolutely. So when they're feeling themselves the way that they are, yeah, I mean it is it is embarrassing because again, based off of their 96 and two record for years on end. It's it's bad. No, and that's it's basically what all I'm saying at the end of the day, and I might take a little dig at Durant here and there. <laughs> <laughs> that's your time. Again, we'll know them by their fruits. Now let me explain this. This is the part that I'm talking about. I won't say it again, but what I was talking about—the difference between uh, and, uh, fans. Remember what I was yeah. telling you guys? What you guys didn't see, what I was seeing, was when people always say the way basketball was in the '90s. You don't get it, but we, but people that know know now is that. When, and I'm going to say LeBron, but he's not the only one. James Harden, the way they treated him, shooting all these free throws, all these flopping. LeBron was the reason they were even starting this flopping rule. But there's a whole bunch of players that follow this type of trade. And LeBron is one of the main ones because he wasn't good enough. The league had to help him, give him these calls. <laughs> but I'm going I'm to get to a point. I'm going to get to a point where it proves my point. Is that basketball now is a European type style basketball. Before that aggressive, that all, yeah, that, that all these guys you just spoke about and all this stuff that LeBron couldn't survive in. Is they got rid of that because LeBron wouldn't be able to survive. Now, let me explain. When these guys, even the Dream Team won, even if you took the, if you took all those players that won by 50, average of 40-something points, get them away. Even if you took the next best guys, they would have won by 40, 50. The Shaquille O'Neal's, the Grant Hills, the um, that Isaiah Thomas who didn't make the team, who should have made the first one. If you even take the whole second thing, they would have won by 40. And every team that went on in 40, the reason why they're losing is because they are playing your European type style basketball, going to Europe and going there and playing their style and getting killed. That's why Luca said that his own mouth when I came here, it was easier. Yeah, yeah. And no European would ever be able to say that in the 90s and early things, of like early Vince Carter Iverson years, and come here and think that they can come with these big, fast, strong, jumping guys and talk that type of basketball. They even, um, what's his name? The guy from Australia said we were supposed to win. I can't remember his name. Joe Basically, Ingram. him. You know what type of disrespect that is? The arrogance that they can speak this way? Now, you're saying that, oh, of course, they're going to go to the Olympics and just win. They're not going to just win. If you're losing to Nigeria, you're not going to the Olympics and just wiping to the I don't know what's going to happen. They could win, but they could easily lose. I'm not going to go, oh, my gosh, they lost. The, 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 the way that basketball players, there's a whole bunch of, even Zach Levine, his, the way, all these guys, the way that they play, I won't say Durant. He doesn't play that way. He had a bad game. 
but I'm not saying all of them do. I can't think of all the guys that are on the roster. But the way that this basketball is played now, it, it is showing in the fruits. We're constantly, even before, for foul even, calls. Yeah, even when we're, even when LeBron and them were there, they lost. They just put all the the, the blame on Iverson, and then they got him in trouble and saying that it was his fault. They were always they lost already. Then they called the redeem team. What happened then? They almost lost to Spain, and then Wade Google it or YouTube it. Wade had to go to Kobe and be like, "Man, we need that Mamba." And Kobe's the one who went and won them the the the, the, the gold medal. They were gonna lose because they constantly are playing this different style of basketball. The, they aren't catching up. We're digressing. And when you see other people saying, "Man, basketball's ruined. LeBron's ruining basketball," nobody cares. But it's showing in the world stage that they're so. You say they're living in a bubble in the NBA. In, they're, well, they're, they're ruining. Their own it's obvious. LeBron has never been, never. And what the witnesses do, what witnesses do, is when LeBron does something that adds to his greatness, they they elevate it. When he does something that takes away from it, they pretend it doesn't exist. LeBron has never been known for his Olympic stellar play. Nobody, nothing. It was always Carmelo who was winning the MVPs yeah. and other players. LeBron is like afterthought because he knows he can't go there where you don't own the league and be able to do what you think you're doing in the NBA. He can't do that. So he has to he has to go there and just fit in the way Ben Simmons is doing. It is showing on the world stage. You'll know them by their fruits. I'm watching this team and these USA teams digress year after year and not blowing up teams by 100, even though they should. It's not because they now, don't have LeBron there. Now, now, again, I'll digress to a point where I, and I think the Canadians are the, are the same sort of situation. While these teams like the Australians, and, and, and again, and I don't know they didn't have Ben and some of these other guys, these guys tend to play a lot more together in a sense of, again, as a team as well, in my opinion. But you, it, whether it be USA basketball, Canadian basketball, these guys, and, and again, it's, it's a mentality thing. For, and again, I know some, and I and I give you know I give credit to Durant. He had a, a hard season. He ended up losing the playoffs. He didn't have to go over there and play. And, I, and, I'll, and I'll give him credit for that. I'll give him credit for that. The issue, the issue is the mentality that, that these guys have in a lot. And I, I agree with him in a sense that yeah, they the they, they get softer fouls called in, in the NBA, and they're looking for calls and so I, I agree with that. Europe has become more of a physical. The, with yeah, NBA was yeah, yeah. Well. And, I, and I and I'll agree with him on that point. The issue is is that a lot of these guys, guys in the smaller nations tend to actually play more games together. They get, they develop chemistry while the Americans and the Canadians just throw everybody in for a small two-week window. They do that all the time and, and they were winning by 50. What's but the difference now? The, the issue is that the difference now is that... national basketball is getting better. Is international That's basketball not is getting the better. It's not the only thing, worse. but it is getting better. But you get... You, if you throw... It, it is getting better, but it's not 40 points spread. It's not, spread it's not better. Better. Remember, these it's guys, not guys like, like Lillard and Durant and all these guys are used to being number one options at all. And it's harder and for them... they used to not being touched when they're being guarded. Harder either. for them yeah. to, to really digress with that. That's wrong. You know what? I kind of looked at some of the stuff that they were they were doing. At times, it kind of looks like they're playing it like it's it's not an NBA... It's kind of like the fourth quarter the NBA all-star game relatively is what I see some the all-star game doing. sucks now I've been saying that for years how many times well, they, play well, they, they play defense they play defense but it used to be a tank but, but, but because they right had to now, bribe them with, with, yeah, with exactly. donations yeah, yeah. that the league under LeBron under the Kings watch destroyed the NBA destroyed the all-star game and they're losing in the Olympics but, but, I don't think they're playing or not okay, well, these are not playing all I came to say is these are the evidence of things I've been saying and they're right there you're making excuses and say oh they're not used to playing together it doesn't matter the dream team one never played play together but those guys just got thrown together and okay, destroyed but everybody then, but back then like again in the night the teams weren't as good as they as they are and again i'm not throwing and again These other I, teams aren't as good they have players that excel and can make and the, the league. leagues but, in, in internationally are better too. these teams these teams Spain, it's over. these players who every time they have a good olympics get called over to the nba more than 80 percent of them fail and get kicked back up so it's not like they're all amazing well, I mean, like who's who, remember, uh, who was that guy that used to play for the Raptors that always was always amazing in the Olympics? Oh, Car was Carlos Arroyo for right? Puerto Rico. No, no, Rico. you're talking about um, Gar uh, Gargosa. No, 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 it was, no, it was Arroyo. Arroyo was incredible. For yeah, Arroyo. Arroyo. But he played in the NBA too. But again, but again, in the end.